love it. I'm back with you again this week. And this week we're going to talk about transition, divine alignment, timing. The Lord brought that back. But I felt that what the Lord wanted to talk about this week was the wilderness. And I'm going to read um, from Journal of the Unknown Prophet on being passed over. The Lord says, Oh, beloved, I see you in that place of solitude. I see you in that place where no man knows or discerns the call and the destiny or purpose for your life. And I would say to you this day that even in this place, is it not I who have hidden you in the cleft of the rock? Is it not by my sovereign hand that for a brief moment I have chosen to hide my plan and my purpose from those who presently surround you? That's hard, I know. You see, beloved child, called out by me, chosen and ordained to my end time purpose. It is in the place of solitude. It is in the place of misrepresentation. It is in the place of misunderstanding. It is in the place where you are passed over that I prove you. It is in this place of no recognition and no man's approval that surely your heart is tried and tested as to whom you will serve. So precious child, this day I ask you, would you serve man and man's recognition and obtains man's rewards so fleeting like a vapor? Oh no, my child, be strong, be of great courage and draw into my secret place. And it is as you humble yourself, even amidst the pain of death to your flesh, even when no man knows your call, when no man sees your place or discerns my purpose for your life, that it is in the crucible of all that seems to count so much that truly you are crucified with me, that it may no longer be that you live, but my spirit shall live within you. For surely it shall be that in this coming days my bride shall say, no longer Christ in me, but I am in Christ. No longer Christ in me, but surely I have been crucified with Christ and my life is hid in him. And so, beloved child, in this place of quietness, in this place of obscurity, be not dismayed at all that surrounds you at this present time, but rejoice in that your king is your great right hand and know that as you worship me and me alone, I shall bring your purpose forth in season and you shall know that to serve the living God and to wait only for my approval and seek only my recognition, the way to death of death to self is surely the only way to eternal life in my kingdom. So be strong, beloved, be of good courage, for I will never fail you or forsake you. For surely you have been tried in the furnace of affliction and have been found faithful. And so you have touched the heart of the Father. And just before I, 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 I start to what, say what I, share what I feel the Holy Spirit saying on that, I just feel that I just want to go back to last week when we were talking about those who were in transition who need to stay in exactly the same place, in exactly the same position. But there was a third thing that was the timing of God. Um, the timing of God and the Lord wants to speak to those today who, who, who have been read about here, to those today who are in a place of obscurity, to those today who have been passed over by man, to those today that you know what God has for you. You know that you have stood on his promise for, for some of you for years and years and the vision that he's placed in you. For some of you, it's a generational vision. For some of you, when that destiny and purpose upon your life is released, you will change nations. For some of you, when that destiny upon your lives is released, you will change. It's generational. It's entire generationals that will be changed. But right now, the Lord says, there are some of you who are in the furnace of affliction. Right now, the Lord says, there are some of you who, even like Joseph, have found yourself in the pit. There are some of you who have found yourself in the, in the prison. I feel right now, I sense there are some of you who have been wrongly accused. There are some of you who have been set up and wrongly accused, says the Lord. There are some of you who have been misrepresented. There are some of you who have been betrayed. Oh, I feel there are some of you who have had real agony that you have been betrayed in this hour. And the Father is right there. He sees that. He sees that agony. 
Brujo Maraku di Gimene Hindrestu go Manahayana, O Magamba Basti Bilechen, Hemelemele Braku di. There are some of you who are, have been in such a wilderness. There are some of you who've been in such a wilderness that you've been driven and tempted almost to despair, says the Lord. Umbroko said, there are some of you who've been in such a wilderness because you've looked to your right and you've seen friends of yours, you've seen neighbors of yours, you've seen minister friends of yours, you've seen those in churches. There are some of you, I believe, who, who have churches. There are some of you who have ministries. There are some of you who have missions. And, and yet it seems like the bud is not blooming, that it's just bare and dry. And yet you know the Lord's called you. You know the Lord's called you to impact an entire generation. You know the Lord has called you. You know what he's called you to. And yet, and yet you, you've just cried out in your chamber and said, Father, I just don't understand. Because the Lord says, because it's been a wilderness time, because you're being tried in the furnace of affliction. You're being tried in the furnace of affliction. There, there are other people watching. There are other people watching. There are sons and daughters watching. There are men and women watching from all walks of life. Not only those in ministry, uh, in business, in business, you've tr you're being tried right now in the furnace of affliction. You're being tried in the furnace of affliction, but I want to talk to some people right now who are called to business some people right now who are called to the marketplace that God has shown you that you are to be Joseph and he's going to raise you up as a storehouse even in these end days and the Lord says even like Joseph you've been put in the pit and you've been put in the prison and you felt that your way has passed over and you felt that that even that 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 you've just been totally that your your call hasn't even been acknowledged or even understood by many many of those around you but the Lord says child you've got to understand understand my times and my purposes. You've got to discern my hour and my season for you in this time. You've got to discern in the preparational stage of your life with this aridness that you seem to be walking through, that this is, you're being tried right now in the furnace of affliction at this time. And this is where the Lord started speaking some weeks ago. Because I see written in the spirit realm, I see the words, even in a day, even in a day. And the Lord said, you know, you know, when you're in this position, it's easy to talk, okay? It's easy to talk the talk. It's different to walk the walk. But I want to tell you, Rory and I have been in this position and I felt that the Lord wanted me just to share. There was a time when we, we, you know, we came over to America. We knew, we saw the vision. We're going to broadcast across America. We're going to broadcast a new schedule, a prophetic schedule, you know, that's going to start to change the end time destiny of a church. We were called with passion and with fervor. We were called with destiny and purpose. A huge part of our purpose was to be called towards America. We were in America for three years before and there was no broadcast. We looked crazy. We were going around to everybody, even all our ministry friends who loved us from God TV, you know, in England and in Europe, and they're looking at us and we're saying, we're called to America, but there was no breakthrough on the broadcast. We could not get a platform. Satan tried on every time, but you know what? I just want to say this. We were in the furnace of affliction. We were being tried and tested in the furnace of affliction. And God said, will you see it through? And there is a time that comes in your life when you pass the test. It's like what John Hagee ministered to this mission this week. There is a time, there is a moment in time when you pass the test. And for some of you, you are right there. You can't give up because God is saying to you right now, child, you've passed the test. There's a time you're right there. You're almost, you want to give up. But the Lord says, you can't give up now because you've passed the test. And when you pass the test, the Lord said, even in a day, shall it be for us, even in a day, we broadcast, we got the contract with Direct TV. Even in a day, even in a day, one day there was nothing. The next evening, everything opened. Every door opened after three years. After three years, the Lord speaks to you. Time is running down on this broadcast now, but the Lord speaks to you and says, child, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up because you've passed the test. And the Lord, the Father of all mercies and compassions, wants to speak to you today and say, beloved child, I love you so much. Thank you. You've passed the test in the furnace of affliction. Even in a day, even in a day, even in a day, even in a day, I'm about to open a door for you that even in a day you would not believe it if you could see it. 
even in a day, you shall see every promise, every vision, every promise that I've given you come to fruition in the land of the living, even in a day. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. Your name's written on the palms of his hands. He never forgets you. He never forgets you. We love you too. God bless you. I'll see you next time.